I'm Carol Marine, coming up a Cook County Democratic President's Forum on Taped with Rabbi Doug. We're going to see Rabbi Doug. We're going to see Rabbi Doug. We're going to see Rabbi Doug on your TV tonight. But Daddy, I want to watch Monday Night Football. Forget about Monday Night Football. There's no other thing we're going to watch on Monday but Rabbi Doug. Yeah, Rabbi Doug on TV tonight. We're going to see Rabbi Doug. Oh, everybody talk about Doug. Shalom and welcome to Taped with Rabbi Doug. I'm here with Carol Marie. Hello, Rabbi Doug. Uh, news anchor, reporter, and master of ceremonies today for this get-together where we are going to meet with the candidates for the Democratic primary for the president of the Cook County Board. Today here with us will be Todd Stroger, Tony Preckwinkle, Terry O'Brien, uh, Dorothy Brown. And uh, each of them, of course, have their own names in the community as they are. Do you know all these people pretty well? I covered all of these people pretty long. Pretty long, pretty long. And tell me, since each of them will probably say the same thing, what is the president of the Cook County Board responsible for? Cook County, if you just think of it in, in governmental business terms, is larger than 29 other states. So it's huge government um, conducting Everything from services like medical care at the hospital, it deals with the largest unified court system in the world, the Cook County Circuit Court. It has the jail, and it deals with all of those unincorporated areas in Cook County that don't have a government of their own. Right, and, and police those, those exactly. communities as well. All right, well, it's going to be an interesting day. Uh, Carol, do you have any specific thing that you're going to ask each of these people to come out and tell us today? Is there a specific uh, issue that each of them you think needs to address more than any other? I mean, I've got a bunch of questions, but I know the people here will have a lot of questions. My first question is going to be, what is the single greatest problem to fix in Cook County, and why hasn't it been fixed already? Great, great question. Well, stay with us here on Taped with Rabbi Doug. Carol Marine is going to MC our program today which e with each of these candidates, and it's going to be worth watching, so stay with us. Hi, I'm Alderman Bernie Stone. You're watching Taped with Rabbi Doug. I want to welcome everyone here to the Temple of Menorah building. Or Menorah, the Lewis Orthodox Synagogue, and Nusra, Park, where I have the rabbi meets in this room every Shabbat, Friday night, Saturday morning, and Saturday afternoon on the Sabbath. And uh, we are very honored to have everyone here. I'm also the host of a weekly cable TV show taped with Rabbi Doug. My name is Rabbi Doug Zeldin, and uh, when I was approached by the Rogers Park organization to host this event, I said this is an event which concerns everyone in the community. It would be our honor, honor to have all the candidates here, and I know Terry's going to be here in a few minutes. He called, he's running a little bit late. So I want to welcome everyone to Orville Nora, to the Temple of Nora building, and uh, present now Doug Kemp. Chicago Snipe Program. 
an award-winning journalist. She's the recipient of Broadcast Journalism's most prestigious awards. She's won two George Foster Peabody Awards, two DuPont Columbia Awards, and two National Emmys. In addition, she's a member of the Chicago Journalism Hall of Fame and has received the Ethics and Journalism Award from the Chicago Headline Fund. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Carol Lee. Taxes, because I believe in new ideas and not new taxes. 
I have the sensitivity coming from very humble beginnings to be the, the county board president. I have the, the executive management experience, the last 34 years in business, 25 years in management, and the last nine running successfully the clerk of the circuit court of Cook County. I have the financial background. I've been a CPA since 1977, an MBA since 1981, and I'm also an attorney. People are hurting, and we need to make sure that we're not balancing the budget on the backs of the taxpayers. So I pledge to stabilize county government by first finding non-tax revenue, and then streamlining the county budget. And secondly, I want to reform the justice administration system, both the juvenile and adult system. I want to help our juveniles become good, productive citizens. And then I have a plan for economic development, working with the village presidents and the county mayors to attract technology attract manufacturing industries, especially green technology companies, to Cook County so that we can create jobs for our people. And I have a plan for small businesses so that we can help people that want to start and maintain a small business, make sure that those small businesses are strong because they are the core of our economy and we can create more jobs as well. Thank you. I love your support. I'm Cook County Board President Todd Stroger, and you're watching Taped with Rabbi Doug. President Stroger, question from the audience. How many relatives are on the Cook County payroll, and what jobs and salaries do they receive? Relatives on the Cook County payroll, I believe, let's see, my sister works for the chief judge. And I never asked her what to make, and she doesn't know that up, so I can really tell you. But I know she, she works some kind of domestic violence function. Uh, Brother-in-law works with facilities management. And I suspect they've both been there for somewhere between 16 and 20 years. Uh, there you go. Okay. We're here on Taped with Rabbi Doug and I'm here with my good friend, President Todd Stroger of the Cook County Board. President Stroger, you are running for re-election and that's why we're here today. What is it about, not about you, but about all the other candidates that are running that makes you the better candidate? <laughs> well, well, Rabbi, uh, I, I'd say what, what makes me the better candidate is that I've been there for three years. I've been through some really tough situations. Uh, and what I've been able to do is to hold the line on uh, property taxes. We haven't increased our property taxes. And I've been able to make sure that we do the services that we're supposed to. So we do public safety, the sheriff, the state's attorney, the public defenders, uh, the court system, and we do public health. And all of the public health that we do, and public safety, hasn't changed since I've been So President Stroger, when you were on our show last time, you talked about all these things in detail. What is it now but that you haven't answered that I'm saying? Why is it that these other candidates couldn't do this as well as you? And you have this answer. I want you to come up with this answer. <laughs> well, part of it is experience. Experience. <laughs> experience. It's, it's, uh, you know, I've been through some, some tough times. Right uh, and we had a very tough beginning when we were half a billion dollars uh, in the deficit. Uh, and we had to make some real changes. And, you know, we had to eliminate 2,700 positions. Uh, and the experience that I've been through, I'm, I'm sure that I can say that the others have not. And uh, being the head of an organization this large of about 22,000 employees, it's a lot of people, of, uh, people and $3 billion, uh, you really learn what is, is the most important thing. You learn how to trim the budget. I've trimmed my office 21% in, in three years. Uh, that's the kind of experience you only get by holding the office itself. So I can only ask you this because you are the experienced person in the position. Do you have a master plan, if you're reelected, to continue that trend of lowering your budget, of, 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 of keeping the taxes uh, from, being ris from, from rising in the, in the property tax field and so on? You do have a plan for all these things? Yes, actually, well, we have been constantly working on figuring out how can we be more efficient. So we've started a new branch in our office. We haven't hired any new people. We just moved them around, and uh, we call it Optima. And it is really there to find uh, more efficiency, to find uh, how to, to gain more revenue, and to raise about $300 million that we previously don't have. Uh, that will mean a lot in our $3 billion budget. Very good. I wish you much success, and thank you so thank much you, again for being on the show, President Todd Stroger. And stay with us here on Taped with Rabbi Doug. We'll be right back. 
I wouldn't have been at this ceremony if I hadn't been at this ceremony first. Unfortunately, nearly 30% of U.S. high school students aren't making it to graduation. And every one of us, every parent, every friend and neighbor, has the responsibility to provide the support and encouragement they need to make it through. Because we all need to see a lot more of these pictures. I'm Judge Yehuda Lubavitz, and you are watching Taped with Rabbi Duck. Thank you, Oliver Kreckwinkel. Is it true that you took approximately $40,000 from a convicted felon, Tony Fresco, in return for him bringing business to your board? Will you explain your relationship to him? Sure. The first thing I should say is that Tony Fresco hasn't given me a dime in a decade. When I was first elected in 1991, I was introduced to Tony Fresco. He was doing a a rehab in a courtyard building very near my office. He was an affordable housing developer, he and his partner Dan Malou, and they did a number of buildings, not just in my ward, but across the south side. In the late 1990s, the properties that he had uh, owned and managed began to have some trouble. I got reports at community meetings and, and from my staff that there was gang activity and loitering around his properties and they weren't being properly cared for. And I called him up and said, hey, Tony, what's, what's going on here? Your properties have been in good shape up till now, and now all I'm getting is complaints. He told me he was getting out of the affordable housing business. He was going to sell his properties. I said, do that as quickly as possible, because I need somebody who's going to manage his program well and be responsible for it. I never got a dime from him after that. He went on to contribute substantially to Rob Goyevich and then Senator Barack Obama, who's now President of the United States. But he never gave me a dime after I called him on the condition of his properties and the bad activity that was uh, being engaged in outside them. Dorothy Brown, please explain in ethical terms how a supervisor can objectively receive cash gifts from employees or charge them to wear blue jeans to work. Thank you. According to the Cook County Ethics Ordinance, um, gifts can be given uh, to enter, as long as it's a, it's a, a county employee or I can give it to uh, another elected official. It's all in the county ordinance, uh, county ethics ordinance. Um, the thing that we do at the clerk of court, we're like a family, so I give gifts, they give gifts. So it's been a lot of misreporting on that. Also, uh, from the standpoint of the genes, uh, my predecessor started it, started the process, uh, the practice, and um, my employees wanted to continue because they wanted to be able to give the charitable causes. And we had our Employee of the Year program on last Friday, which is an employee morale boosting uh, effort that I have employed employee morale committee that actually, that actually made the recommendation. Also, um, it's not uncommon, uh, the Report of Deeds does it, the Department of Revenue at the City of Chicago does it, uh, they just issued a memo saying that they're going to do GNC every Thursday for indefinitely for Haiti. Uh, Deloitte and Tews and Sergenta, um, they actually have G date and days, and they have been written up and winning workplaces for having such a creative idea for raising money for charities. And uh, just Friday, the law folks and said that five law firms did G day for Haiti. So it's um, a practice that's just common when people want to give um, as, as a way of raising money. Some of the employees said that to give $2 uh, to wear jeans, have fun, but yet give to a cause was a good thing. We're here on Tape to Thrive by Doug, and I'm here with Dorothy Brown, the Cook County Clerk. And Dorothy, you are running for the president of the Cook County Board. And tell me why you, compared to everyone else, what is it about Dorothy Brown that stands out among the four candidates, because they're all good candidates, and they all have qualities. What is it that makes you stand out beyond them? Well, I believe that what makes me stand out is I have the sensitivity, first of all, because I came from very humble beginnings. I was raised by a set of poor and uneducated parents who taught me the value of hard work, dedication, and what a good education can get you. And then I have the business background. I believe that Cook County has been run by career politicians long enough, and we need someone with a business background to run Cook County. I have 34 years of business experience, the last 25 in management, 
and the last nine running successfully at the clerk of the circuit court. And then I have a financial background that I really feel is needed. I have been a certified public accountant since 1977. I've had an MBA in finance since 1981, and I'm also an attorney. We have had enough people that really know what they're doing trying to run county governments. We need someone that can hit the ground running the first day, and that's what I can do. Right. I wish you much success. Thank you so much, and stay with us here on Take with Rabbi Doug. Thank you. Neurofibromatosis. Neurofibromatosis. What? Neurofibromatosis, or NF, is a genetic disorder that causes tumors to grow anywhere on or in the body. It can lead to blindness, deafness, loss of limbs, brain tumors, and severe disfigurement. Neurofibromatosis. Let me make it easy for you. Children's Tumor Foundation. The Children's Tumor Foundation, dedicated to ending neurofibromatosis through research. Let's all start saying it. Children's Tumor Foundation. I'm Terry O'Brien, and you're watching Tape with Rabbi Doug. Mr. O'Brien, uh, among the questions being asked are some specifically, you came to and so before you got here, um, Clerk Brown was asked about genes, sort of asked about how many code, right? and Presley Stroger asked about relatives. The question to you is, as a resident of Birchwood Avenue, can you please explain how you could preside over the county board if you cannot control the terrible odors from the MSD facility on the <laughs> Well, uh, I don't think those... Uh, I don't think the odors are coming from our uh, facility up at Howard McCormick, and I would be happy to uh, take anybody who lives in the neighborhood on a tour of that facility. And I know we've had uh, many meetings with some of the organizations and the Birchwood neighbors here in relationship to those particular orders, odors. And uh, one of the scenarios that was potentially determined was the fact because there's a low flow of water that is going through the sewer, the residue gets captured on the side of the sewer. And what happens when we have a higher flow of air that comes through that sewer, it draws that odor up through the, the manholes in the street. So, um, but. Our, 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 our operations uh, accept any phone calls or any complaints in relationship to uh, odors coming from the area from our previous so. I'm here with President of the Water Reclamation District, Terry O'Brien. How are you, Terry? Good. Great. An old Thank friend you. and uh, acquaintance. And Terry, uh, you are running for the President of the Cook County Board. And you obviously have a lot of experience running a major government, major government organization. What do you think you can do for the Cook County Board that the others who are all qualified politicians, what can you do that they can't? Well, I think they need to be uh, bring a business sense approach to county government. Uh, and that's what we've done at the Water Reclamation District. As I was saying during the forum today, we hire people for what they know and not who they know. And we've got a tremendous record from the standpoint of being fiscally responsible and spending the taxpayers' dollars. There is no accountability. That's all we've heard since we've traveled this county, since we started campaigning. There is no accountability, you know, and they're trying to tax their way out of problems. I can balance the budget any day, just raise the taxes, and that's, that's what he's talking about. He's balancing his budget by raising taxes. Businesses can't do it. You know, businesses have to, they have to make cuts, and they have to cut in personnel, and they have to cut in the bottom line, and our expenditures. And businesses are crying in this community because Cook County is not business friendly to and we're losing jobs and we're losing companies because of that. And you think that you can change that? Yes. I just received the endorsement from the Chicagoland Chamber of Commerce who said, you really get it. You understand what it means to be in business. Because I am a small business owner myself. I know what it means to be in a budget and payroll. I can't go to a taxpayer if I'm short of money. I've got to cut my uh, bottom line and do and do things that are not always pleasant. So. Very, very good. Well, I wish you much success. Thank you very much. And uh, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. And stay with us here on Tape with Rabbi Doug. I am the candidate for Lieutenant Governor of Illinois, Scott Lee Cohn, and you are watching Tape with Rabbi Doug. I am an American. I am an American. I'm an American. I am an American. I'm an American. I am 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 an American. I I I I am an American. I am an American. I am an American. 
I am American. I am America. I'm an American. I'm an American. I am an American. I am an American. I'm an American. I am an American. I am an American. I'm Cook County Commissioner Larry Sufferden, and you're watching Tape with Rabbi Doug. Again, I'd like to thank uh, this congregation and your rabbi for making the synagogue available to us. I'd like to thank the Rogers Park Organization for sponsoring it, and Carol uh, for moderating. I'm a history teacher by profession, and let me say to you what I always used to say to my students. Democracy is the best form of government in the world, and at the same time, the most fragile. And it's for the same reason. It depends on an active, involved citizen. So I want to thank all of you for coming out today. I really appreciate your interest in a time when so many people are cynical about government and discouraged about government in Illinois, in Illinois in particular. I commend you for coming out today. I'm the only candidate up here who has been endorsed by the newspapers. Not just the Sun Times and the Tribune, but the Wednesday Journal, the Daily Herald, virtually any newspaper that's made an endorsement has endorsed me. I think there's a reason for that. They have confidence that I'm the person who's going to make the tough choices to change county government. And I hope that you will make that same decision on the basis of what you've heard today. I look forward to your support on Election Day, February 2nd. My punch number is 95. Thank you very much. I want to thank Carol Marine and each of our candidates who are with us today. I want to thank you. Remember, you can check out our website at www.tvrabbi.com, where you can see our show on the web. And if you want to email us or have me get an email to any of our guests today, info at tvrabbi.com, and I'll happy to forward it on to them. Hope to see you next time right here on Tape with Rabbi Doug. Shalom, everyone. Thank you, uh, Rabbi Doug, for having us part of the Democratic Organization. Ms. Marine. I know what I believe is he shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So As leader of this agency, in 1988, we had 3,000 employees. We are down to 2,056 employees. A 30% reduction in our workforce while taking on an added responsibility, which was that of the county board, and that was stormwater management. They had that responsibility going back to 1991, we have taken it over in 2004. We have not had to add anybody onto our workforce, and we don't charge people to wear jeans to our operations. Thank you. We are a humane society. Uh, I pledge that the day I walk in the door, I will uh, reduce my salary by 10%. I think that we need belt tightening in the county, not even get on the top. And uh, as far as the water reclamation goes, we hire by what you know and not who you know. Uh, we're a very professional agency, we run like a business. I think you get more out of your people when you get professional people working for you. I was glad to hear the organization is going to take a reduction in uh, her pay when she's uh, elected president of the county board because, uh, as an alderman, she voted four times to increase her own pay. So uh, <laughs> I, hope you, I hope you stick to your words, Alderman Pancho. I hope you stick to your words in relationship to repealing a 1% sales tax because now you're talking about doing it immediately, which I've always been talking about doing it from day one immediately and not over for you. When I'm talking about Rabbi Doug, talking about Rabbi Doug, talking about Rabbi Doug on your TV show. Well, he's the rabbi for me. Anytime you need, you're gonna get married or you're gonna die. Gonna see Rabbi Doug. Gonna see Rabbi Doug. Gonna see Rabbi Doug Gonna see Rabbi Doug On the TV tonight This has been a Taped with Rabbi Doug production.